Where am I? What's this painting? Right, I'm a Joseph's. Mm. What a night. Quite a celebration. Happy birthday, my friend. <laughs> Though, one drink too many. Mm. I'll check with Joseph and then I'm off to work. Ah, my poor head. Ah. Here it is. That's odd. I've been many times at Joseph's, but I've never seen this corridor before. The photographs seem very familiar, though. What's that? This room is bizarre. What's with this furniture? If I don't go out soon, I'll be late for work. Let's try this way. Another letter?
ventilation hole? How on earth do I fit in here? These aren't the legs I'm used to. I know this sounds ludicrous, but can it be that I'm a bug? Stay calm. Let's find Joseph and move on from there. All right, huh? Focus. You don't want to fall from this high up. What a clutter. I think there is something on the table. Another letter? Almost. Ah, <sighs> made it. Sticky, oh. What in the... Exoskeleton? 
Everything seems unfamiliar and bizarre. Wondering if this is all just a bad dream? Relax. Everything is fine. Fine? This is fine? Did you transform into a bug in your bed? Are you feeling uncomfortable in your new skin? Or rather, exoskeleton? Everything seems unfamiliar and bizarre. Wondering if this is all just a bad dream? Relax. Everything is fine. Fine? This is fine? of destiny for yourself. For the best employees, restoration back to human form.
should bring my breakfast. I'm afraid that won't be possible. What do you mean, not possible? Preposterous, unprecedented, this is unheard of. And who then are you exactly? Were you expecting someone? On the contrary. I demand to know who you are. And is there someone behind the door? You seem excited. For sure I am. Does Miss Grubach know about this incident? I can't imagine this is acceptable for her. And who is in Frau Burstner's room? Do you know Miss Burstner well? She is my neighbor, of course I know her. I don't see how it's any of your concern. Just curious. How well? Uh, we are simply acquaintances. But why does that interest you? Has she done anything wrong? Why would she have done anything wrong? I have no idea. You tell me. Enough of this chicanery. Are you the police? Is Frau Burstner in some kind of trouble? Why would she be in trouble? I don't know. You come in. Ask about her. What makes you think it's about her? <coughs> well, it's certainly not about me. Now, is it? You are the police. Were you expecting the police? No. No, I wasn't expecting anybody, least of all you, whoever you are. I have to call Miss Grubach. Why do you need Miss Grubach? You just keep asking questions, don't you? Well, listen, you don't deny anything and you don't affirm anything. You just stand there and stare at me. What's your name and your function? Why am I even thinking of to do?
Nothing happens by itself, Mr. K. Oh, give me a break. You seem to have an answer for everything. Because there is a reason for everything. Who's there? Let's see. Wouldn't you rather just stay here? I want neither to stay here, nor to talk <laughs> to you. I didn't mean anything wrong. Didn't France tell you to stay in your room? I demand to talk to Miss Grubach this instant. That won't be possible. What do you mean, not possible? I want to speak with my landlady. No. You can't leave. You are... arrested. Oh. Yes, it sure looks that way. Somebody must have made a false accusation. I don't see any other explanation. I'll get my papers. Preposterous. Okay. I seem not to be able to find my wallet. It might have been stolen from me. That would be most unfortunate. Indeed. How about you investigate that while you're here? Mr. Kai, our sole job was to look after you until the arrival of our supervisor. On the other hand, you should really calm down. I'm a very calm man. I'm very glad to hear that, Mr. Kai. How can I be under arrest? And above all, in such a way? Do you think we know anything about the proceedings of your case? We hardly know one end of the identity document from the other. 
We are merely junior officials tasked with watching over you for the next few hours. That's all we are. But we understand that before making any arrest, the high authorities that we serve make sure they're well informed of the case and the accused. Tell me then, for what crime am I supposed to be under arrest? We're not allowed to tell you anything more about your arrest. Proceedings are underway, and you'll be told everything, all in good time. I'm already breaking the rules being so polite with you. I hope that only Franz can hear this. He too is much more polite than he ought to be. Quite frankly, if your luck with the guards continues, you have nothing to fear, Mr. Kai. Tell me truthfully, what sort of people are you? To what authority do you belong? Is this not a country of law and order? Ah, oh, wait. I see. This must be all in jest. I bet I could laugh in your face right now, and it would turn out to be a joke. A birthday joke from my colleagues at the bank. <laughs> It's unthinkable. Is it some kind of mistake? If it's a joke, I'll sure be part of it. <laughs> I assure you, it's no joke, Mr. K. Nor can there be any question about there being a mistake. As far as I know, the judicial authorities don't search for guilt within society. Rather, it's guilt itself that attracts their attention. That's when we... The guardians of the law are sent out. That's the law. So where would there be any mistake? I don't know this law. All the worse for you, then. I think it's a law which is existing only in your heads. Yet you are to feel its long arm. You are making a big mistake. We're treating you politely, and you don't seem to appreciate the fact. Maybe you've forgotten, but unlike you, we are still free. And that is no small advantage. Take me to your supervisor as soon as he asks for it. Not before. In the meantime, don't trouble your head with matters of no importance. Stay focused. There are many more challenges ahead. Besides, you think we'd let you see the supervisor dressed like this? He'd have you thrashed. And thus as well. Let me be, for heaven's sake. If you surprise me while I'm in bed in the morning, you can't expect me to be in my best suit. Since... You need to get changed to meet with the inspector, Mr. K. It is better to hand your personal belongings over to us. There is a lot of thieving from the storage room. Things tend to disappear and get sold after a time. And cases like yours, you know how long they can drag on. No, how long can they drag on? Cases like this. For a very long time, naturally. Um, of course you'd get your cut from the sale. But it would only be a small sum. And its size is not determined by the size of the sale. Oh, I can't keep it. The size of the bribe one has to pay to get the transaction going. Sounds like you are the ones who want to bribe. God forbid! What are you suggesting, Mr. K? I'm not suggesting anything. I'm done speaking with you. A few words with someone on my level will make things incomparably clearer than the longest conversation with you two.